Good morning and welcome to Ag Day. I'm Michelle Rook. Clinton is on assignment. Rail shipments are already starting to slow ahead of a possible rail strike, which could happen as early as this Friday. And it couldn't come at a worse time for agriculture. That's why ag groups are urging Congress to help avert a strike, including the Fertilizer Institute. Officials saying they're already seeing rail shipments of fertilizer products like ammonia halted. The industry is preparing for the worst, but says even a short-lived strike would be devastating for fertilizer movement. So there's basically transportation alternatives in site storage. That's what everyone's going to have to evaluate, and they'll have to go site by site to do it. Um, you know, and some, some folks may have to start to slow down production just to kind of um, avoid having to completely shut down a, a facility. Each day the rail network is shut down, it equates to a week of no shipments. And it couldn't come at a worse time on the cusp of harvest and fall fertilizer season. So it's not just about us getting inputs out to farmers so that, um, you know, not I mean us, you know, the fertilizer, our members getting their, their products out to farmers and they need them uh, for the for fall application. That's coming right now. Um, and so, you know, there's, these are there are windows for these activities, but there's also all the farmers and they got their harvest and they got to bring those to market, both domestic and international. Um, you know, they got there's a there's, you know, famine around the world is going to be a real uh, serious thing for us to watch and, and take care of going forward for the next 12 months. He says fertilizer applications contribute to half of all crop yields, and there's already a global shortage with European fertilizer production down 50 percent as a result of record high natural gas prices. So this type of catastrophic supply chain crisis would further impact global food insecurity. Besides the movement of grain and fertilizer, there could be other potential impacts on ag if there was a rail strike. Shipments of cotton would be impacted. Jordan Lay, a senior trader at DECA Global, says there is a lot of old crop that needs to ship by a rail. The former president of the American Cotton Shippers Association says the industry doesn't need this hiccup right now. Livestock and poultry would also be hurt. The National Grain and Feed Association says a shutdown would force producers to make difficult decisions regarding the viability of their animals. And the association also says processing and biofuels plants may have to scale back production due to the inability to move both commodities for processing and moving out finished products. The overall food industry would also feel the effects. The Consumer Brands Association says it would cause problems when it comes to availability, affordability, and accessibility of everyday essential products for consumers. Ahead of a possible strike, Amtrak is preemptively suspending service on some of its routes. That includes Chicago to Los Angeles, Seattle, and San Francisco, and part of one of its routes from Los Angeles to San Antonio. Amtrak says it's closely monitoring the ongoing negotiations, which do not involve Amtrak or its workforce. But since Amtrak does not own the track itself, thousands of miles of travel could be impacted. About 60,000 union members, including engineers and conductors, are set to go on strike. And we'll continue to keep you updated on the potential for a rail strike as a Friday deadline looms. Make sure to follow us on air and online for the very latest.